Hello everyone, my name is Milia. Welcome to my channel. It is time for another update for Pandal's eyeshadows. I have no idea what update this is, but it's an update for my Pandal's eyeshadows. And it's an very it's a very exciting update. Um this project was created by Alexi. I will have her linked down below. Uh, we basically randomize eyeshadows to hit pan on. Uh, I'm trying to hit pan on my shadows, obviously, but I have a 15 use rule or goal. Uh, if I hit 15 uses and I don't feel like continuing working on the shadow uh, to hit pan, I will roll it out after 15 uses. Um, yeah, so I have some rollouts today. I actually, I have four rollouts. Uh, this update, I'm working on five shades. Three of them are completely randomized, and two of them are based off of the prompts that Lainey created. I will have her linked down below as well. I also added some of my own prompts. And I'm going to be adding in a sixth shade um, because I want to do a focus palette. Um, I'm going to work through all of my oldest palettes, trying to hit pan in all of the shades. So we're also going to do that at the end of the video. But let's jump in to my eyeshadows. We're going to start off with the three completely randomized shadows. The first one being uh, the shade Iris from the Lunar Beauty Greek Goddess palette. It has, it has been in for three months now. Um, and it's the shade Iris, as I said. Uh, at last update, I was at five uses. I did use it an additional seven times this month. For a total of 12 uses and here is iris i don't know if there you go you probably can see i did hit pan on this the pan is kind of stained by the shadow so it's very hard to see but i think you can tell i did hit pan on this after 12 uses i did use a brush with it uh which is why I hit pan on it uh, because the brush picks up more product and it's more precise than my finger is. Um, so yeah, I that is my first pan. The second shadow has also been in for three months. And it comes from the Beauty Bay Earthy 9 Pan palette, and it's the shade Moss. Now, at last update, I was at six uses, and I did use it an additional four times, uh, bringing me up to ten. And again, I don't know. There you go. I did hit pan on this again. It's very hard to see, uh, but I think there. I think you can see the pan. I did hit pan after 10 uses. These are pretty shallow pans. Uh, so it wasn't, and it was a very crumbly shade. Um, and I did hit pan on it. So it's rolling out. The last completely randomized shadow I rolled in two months ago, and it's from the Beauty Bay Fiery Matte palette, also the nine pan. I was at five uses last update. Uh, I did use it four additional times for a total of nine uses. <laughs> and again, it is very hard. It's it's the tiniest. There's two tiny, tiny specks of pan. I don't know if you'll be able to see them because I can see them in certain light. But I don't know if you can see them. They are there, maybe. It's the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest speck of pan. Um, but it's, it's there. 
there, maybe, maybe you can see it. It's the tiniest specks of pan, but they are there. Okay, they are there. And I'm gonna count it because it is, it is pan. So it's rolling out. Uh, for my two prompt based shadows, first one was for the prompt Alinda Hollaberry Shimmer, and I picked the in original Infinity palette because uh, it's the only palette of hers that I have. And I chose the shade Milky Way. Again, it's been in for three months. Last update, I was at 11 uses. I did use it nine more times, bringing me up to 20, because I was dedicated to hitting pan on this shadow. And there it is. It is a pan. And this is a proper pan, like you can see it. <laughs> okay. It took me 20 uses to hit pan on this, so I exceeded my usage goal. But I really wanted to hit pan on this. So I did. And now for the last shade in this project I rolled in two months ago. And it was for the prompt starts with the letter F. And I went with the Lunar Beauty Moonspell palette and the shade Fiona. And this is what Fiona looks like. It does not have pan. Um, I was at two uses last update. I used it five more times, bringing my total up to seven. Uh, these are very deep pans, so I did not expect to hit pan on this. This month, I don't expect to hit pan on it next update either. Uh, but I've been mainly using it as a liner, and that's how I'm using it today. And yeah, it's a nice shade. It's pretty dark for the summertime, but I'm enjoying using it. Also, I want to have pan in all of my palettes, and this palette does not have pan on it yet. So I'm very excited. I think this might be a 15 use kind of shadow though. We'll see. And that is all of the shadows that I was working on. Again, I did hit pan on the Infinity palette uh, Milky Way. I did hit pan on the shade Sincere, the shade Moss, as well as the shade Iris. So I will have four products rolling in. And we're gonna, three of them are gonna be completely randomized, and one of them are gonna be based on a prompt, and then I'll roll in a focus palette. So we're gonna pick three palettes first. I have my wheel of palettes here, and we'll randomize three palettes. The first one is gonna be the Lovely Cosmetics Pastel Tropics palette. All right. The next palette, we're gonna randomize the shade afterwards. Next palette is gonna be the Beauty Bay Dumbo palette from the Disney collection. And lastly, we're gonna do I'm nervous. The Catrice Lavender Breeze palette. I like that because those are very shallow and I might be able to, to pan by next update because I was a little bit scared about rolling in four new shadows or five because then I'm gonna, I was afraid I wasn't gonna have anything to roll out next update. Then we're gonna do one prompt. I'm scared. A shadow from a monochromatic palette. Okay, I will go find those. I will bring my focus palette, my first focus palette as well, and we'll pick some shades. I am back with the palettes and the shadow. Let's start. The first palette that I rolled in is this guy. This is the lovely Cosmetics Pastel Tropics palette. 
Uh, it is a pastel palette. As you can see, I have one pan in here already. So we have eight eligible shadows to be rolled in. This is a very summer, summer appropriate palette. So let's see what I get. One through eight. The shade number three. The most neutral shade in the entire palette. Of course, um, this is kind of a lid setting shade for me. Yeah, it's a lid setting shade for me. That should be easy. <laughs> These are not too deep um, and I can use that every single day. So that's kind of a gimme, I guess. But we're going to roll with it. The second palette I rolled in is this one. This is the Beauty Bay Dumbo palette. Um, and this is what she looks like. It's an all matte palette as well. So we'll see. I have used it some. Not a whole lot. I have no idea how deep these pans are because I've never hit pan on them. And they are definitely more hard pressed than the Beauty Bay shadows usually are. So we'll see. But I have six shades in that palette. So we'll roll number four. All, all right. That is this blue shade right here. That's beautiful. And that is very summery. All right, it's very, very pretty. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna be working on that. Super exciting. And the last palette that I rolled in is this one, the Catrice Slim Shadow Palette in the shade Lavender Breeze. And this is what she looks like. I have two pans on here already on the shade Lilac as well as the shade Deep. So we can't roll those in. So we have 12 eligible shadows to be rolled in in this palette. Again, these are pretty shallow and easy to pan on. So I'm excited. Let's see. Number 12, so the last shade, the shade Gorgeous right here. Again, very, very neutral uh, brown shade. Doesn't really have a lot of use in it, like previous use. Just a beautiful like crease shade, very easy to use. I'll go find something to wipe my hands off with. Okay. Uh, for my prompt, I got a shadow from a monochromatic palette. Uh, I picked out the Revolution Ice palette. Uh, it's not completely monochromatic, but it, it's 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 a blue palette. Uh, it is a blue palette, and I decided to go with the shade Icicle right here. Uh, I just dug my nail into it, but it already has uh, some usage on it, and it actually goes really well with the blue shade from the Dumbo palette. Um, this is what it looks like. It's beautiful, and I love blue eyeshadow, so I'm very, very excited to be working on that. It's so pretty. The shade from the Dumbo palette, by the way, it's called Dumbo Ice. Because Dumbo's eyes are blue. Anyway, uh, this is going to be the shade that's going to replace the Linda Halberg shadow. And I'm going to roll in a focus palette. Now, as you may know, uh, I am panning my oldest palette. The oldest palette in my collection is the Modern Renaissance palette. And I'm that's in my pan that palette right now. But my second oldest palette is the Urban Decay Naked, the original. Um, and this is gonna be my first 
focus palette. I want to hit pan on all of the shades in here. I have one pan and one finished shadow. I have finished the shade naked and I have pan on the shade half baked, uh, which means I have 10 shades in here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Yes, I have 10 shades in here without pan, and this is my oldest palette. So I am gonna roll in one of those to work on. And let's see what I get. Ten, one through ten. Seven. All right, so let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's gonna be the shade Toasted. I'm gonna swatch that. This is a very old palette, so it's starting to get a little crumbly. That's a beautiful shade. Uh, a little bit darker uh, than I would like this time of the year, but I can use it on my lower lash line and whatnot. So this is going to be my new color story. Very neutral with some blue. Uh, I'm very happy with this color story. Um, and I think I can have some pants by next update. I think I can hit pan on this lovely shade. And maybe this shade gorgeous. Um, so yeah, those are going to be my new color story. I'm super, super excited about these shades. I am missing a shade. Or I. Yes, I am missing... <laughs> I'm gonna swatch the Lunar Beauty shadow that I am still working on. That's on the bottom right there. So that is my new color story. Um, and yeah, I will update you in a month to see how I'm doing. But I hope you enjoyed this update. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below so you don't miss out on the next update for this project and the many other projects I'm doing on my channel. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!